Hello friends, today I'm showing you um, a video about one of the newest updates by Notion. It's about Notion sites. So with this update, Notion is becoming a kind of page builder. So it's competing, it's, start, it's starting to compete with WordPress, Wix and other tools that are usually used for building websites without uh, code. But is it really working as intended? Is it really um, making uh, or transforming Notion from a productivity app into a, a powerful page builder? Well, let's check it out. Um, so for the start of this video, I've started to create um, a website in Notion. So that's basically just a normal site in Notion with a cover. And uh, you probably know how to change the cover so you can uh, uh, choose among different colors and gradients or pictures provided by Notion from uh, partners like uh, museums or the NASA. Uh, but of course, you're also free to upload your own uh, images or use images um, that, or use free images on Unsplash. Or use free images on Unsplash. Um, for this video, I will keep that Japanese styled ink image and um, yeah let's have a look at the rest of the page so it's actually pretty simple i've built an about page uh, with blogs and i've included a picture of mine here and uh, written a short text about my services uh, what it did as well was um, adding a notion consulting um, yeah what I did as well was adding a calendar link so that people can actually book an appointment with me on the website. And lastly, I've included a gallery, um, a gallery database, which serves as a kind of blog where I'm going to display my blog posts. Well, so far that's easy and you probably uh, should not have um, any issues with building this, but how to actually share that with the public? Well, you probably know that you can share it by clicking on share and uh, publish it on the web. But now with the update, this looks a bit diff different than before. So now you have here the line published web, create a website with Notion. And yeah, let's start by clicking publish. And our site is now published it's on the web and as you can see that's the url of our page it's yeah that's the um url part is that's our notion workspace and that's um the url the id of the notion page of course that's not looking very attractive but you could in theory connect it with one of your domains if you link your domain to notion so this is of course not free um, so the free option is using a notion site domain so as you've seen before but if you want to have a custom domain uh, the price is 10 bucks 10 dollar per month so um, personally um, because i'm not <laughs> i'm not using uh, currently notion um, as my website i'm still using wordpress i have not connected my custom domain with Notion, um, it could make sense um, if I would use Notion, uh, but uh, let's go, go back to the price in a later on, in a later stage of this video. So, um, yeah, let's have a look at the other options we have here. So, um, so the search engine indexing. Um, you have probably seen that option before, so you can, um, the search engine indexing. Well, that's off by default, but if you want to be, uh, visible on search engines like Google, you should, of course, turn it on, as a, turn the, the toggle on, and now your website can be indexed by Google. Of course, um, that will take some time and, um, and you will not get automatic traffic just because you turned it on. Uh, please be aware of that. Um, what else? You can change the meta description of your site and make it, for example, more attractive. So, for example, you can say Philips uh, Notion Consulting site or something. Philip or Notion Notion Consulting by Philip. And 
yeah, we could uh, extend, of course, also this meta description, I think, to up to 150, 160 characters. Um, but so far, so good. Um, what else do we have here? Um, you can say you can set the link, the links to expiration. Um, so when, so you can send the link to expiration. So when is it getting off the web as again? You can say in one hour, a day, a week, or choose a date. Um, yeah, we don't plan to do that. So we are not using this option. So we uh, use the default none. And now we come to the heart of this update, the site customization, because this actually makes Notion or transforms Notion into a kind of page builder. Of course, if you've uh, worked with page builders like uh, Webflow, or Wix or others, well, you probably know that uh, this is still limited. Um, they offer much more options than the options currently offered by Notion. But uh, it's a good beginning and let's see how this will develop in the future. Uh, theme, you can switch between dark theme or light theme. Personally, I prefer light. Um, yeah, you can connect it to Google Analytics. So you have to enter the Google Analytics ID here. And then you can, for example, track the, the, the users on your website. You can track uh, where they're going, how long they remain in your sites, etc. Which is useful, of course, when you get a lot of traffic and you want to uh, when you want to analyze it. Um, and uh, yeah, you can have your here if your and here you have a Fabicon of the website. So what's a Fabicon? Uh, it's not visible here, but in the browser, when you have to tap with your website, there is a small logo. And um, in the by default, it's the Notion logo, but you could change it to your personal logo, which makes um, it easier to navigate in a browser when you have a lot of tabs open. Um, the header. So um, when we click here, we have now four options. So breadcrumbs, what is it? Um, it's, uh, let's turn it off and on. And you see um, the about page appears and disappears. So it's, um, you see here the structure of your page uh, when we, for example, go When, for example, we go to on our blog page, you see the blog page and you see the parent page, which is about. And that's actually how the breadcrumbs work. Um, let's go back to header. Search, um, we have a search field here. Um, you can choose if you want to have it um, appear or not. Uh, for the for the moment, um, we actually don't need it. Um, you can choose if you want to allow to duplicate it as a template. Um, if it's a public website, probably don't you don't want to allow that. And the notion watermark and the notion watermark um, at the and the notion watermark, I cannot toggle it. Uh, that's because I have not connected the website to a custom domain. So, uh, but if you have a custom domain, you can remove the notion watermark. So, and that's actually what you can, yeah, uh, how you can customize the header. Ah, well, there's one more thing. You can add pages, so you can build your own menu. So what kind of pages are allowed? Well, pages that are um, sub pages of your website page. So uh, my website page is about and the sub pages can be used for the menu. Uh, so Notion block and block. So that's of course not much in this example, but I will show you how this is working. So, and we click on add a page. And now uh, we can say we add the block overview page and uh, of course we have the block, the block post as well. And uh, we can say, okay, that's my most um, yeah, important blog post notion agencies because it's also upselling for clients. So we um, add it to our menu here. And so you can build your customized menu. Um, yeah, that's actually uh, what you can do to 
customize this page of course um, you can uh, freely let's publish the changes of course you can actually of course you, you are free to um, of course you can um, customize the site by adjusting the blocks and using videos uh, images text headers etc to build an attractive page but i have to say it's much more limited than most uh, page builders and um, your page still has a notion look even if now it looks more professional because you have uh, yeah breadcrumbs you have a menu and yeah um, at favicon and uh, even if you can combine it with your custom domain uh, it's still a notion site so let's publish the changes and let's see how this is actually looking like so that takes some minutes okay is it working so um yeah <laughs> calendly needs some time so um i would say if, if you want to, if your goal is to actually uh, just have a simple website maybe some directory where you link to your most prominent uh, uh, social profiles, websites, etc. Um, that makes a lot of sense to use Notion and not pay for um, some 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 link tree tool or something like that. Um, also for an about page, I think it can make sense. Um, if you want to blog, well, personally, I would use WordPress, uh, but of course, I understand that from some people maybe um, that have no experience with uh, working with a CMS. Um, but you have experience with working with Notion. So for them, it's probably much easier to, um, yeah, publish blog posts simply by updating the database here and writing inside the database. Because with that, you just have to write a post in that Notion blog database. Um, yeah, then um, upload an image and well, the blog post is set. And it looks good enough so now here there's no text inside so it's not a real blog post um, but it's just an example but um, yeah I think for if you want to have an easy website it's probably working um, if uh, for companies or, yeah individuals that yeah want to build something professional I would say it's still too limited um, and I would rather use an yeah one um, one of the common page builders or CMS systems. But um, overall, um, it's interesting that Notion is going into this direction. Um, perhaps they will actually add more functionalities in the future. Um, but still, I think um, for today, um, I would personally not use it. Um, it's also costly, to be honest, um, because most features are only available when you're using the pro plan. So you uh, are already paying 10 to $12 per month to use uh, this. And then if you want to link your custom domain, you, t you pay an, an additional $10, uh, $10 per month. And uh, so that adds up to $20, $20 which is... Uh, yeah which is uh yeah well on the one hand cheap but it's yeah actually more expensive than for example using wordpress and it still doesn't um include the cost of the domain you have to 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 actually acquire as well so um yeah for the functions that are now available i would say uh no if you want for don't use it for a fully functional website but of course if you want just uh, to have a one pager with quick information well i think it's a pretty good um update and uh, for that i think it's per it's a perfect fit and yeah that's my uh opinion about the notion sites so what do you think about it have you used it and do you think uh, that it is uh, in the long term able and do you think that in the long term it will be able to compete with traditional page builders and CMS systems? Let me know in the comments.